Okay, today I'm going to show you how to play uh, the first couple of verses to Paul Simon's The Late Great Johnny Ace, um, which goes like this. So the first chord is a B flat major seven with an E on top. So you can think of it as a B flat major seven sharp eleven. And then the second chord is an E seven, which he quickly places his second finger on the second fret of the G string, which makes it a sus, and then he goes to the B open. So there I'm doing an A chord, putting my pinky on the third fret of the B string to make it another sus chord, and then back to A and then to an A7, which you could just lift your middle finger if you don't know A7 already, which takes us to a new key. So now we're at D, we've got a D chord. And I like to play G without reaching all the way over here just for that one second. So we get the notes still say the same. We're just playing the third fret on the high E and the B, and leaving D and G open. So D, G, D, D7. And then we get G. And this is kind of important because we can walk up the bass like he does. So G. A, B, C7, and I think he just, when he does that, he's just doing the little triad, then to B7, then we've got E minor, so there he strums, B picks the high E string, then he uses his pinky to grab D sharp. F sharp minor, but I just use my finger and bar it because we don't really need the whole chord. Uh, he does this thing this, with the the melody. So well, I guess actually, sorry, that's a major. So you keep the, the bass note, F sharp, start with the third fret there, lift up, so it's like a pull off to the second fret, then the third fret on the G, and then the fourth fret on the D. Now we switch, and you don't have to move your finger because I'm already barring, but we're going to include playing a B minor 7. Actually, right there, it just becomes a B9 chord. Then to G major 7, which if you don't know that chord already, there's different ways to play it. I've seen people play it with the 5th here, if you want, but, uh, or I've seen them just, you know, two fingers with their third bar all the way across. You can use your middle finger on the 4th fret of the D, ring finger on the 4th fret of the G. Then back to B minor 7, E minor, then A, 
I think he starts actually with this sus, so. So A7 with the sus4, then C sharp, then B, back. Four, three, two, three. So that's just but with an A7 on the bottom. So again, really slowly, the whole thing goes like this. sharp major, then B minor, then G major 7, back to B minor 7, B minor, then A7 sus 4, A7, A7 sus 2, He starts to do some stuff in the middle of some kind of bluesy guitar stuff, and maybe I'll get to that eventually, but uh, someone had asked me to listen to this song, so I figured I would, well, after I figured it out, I would show you how to play it, so enjoy. <laughs> 